Greetings. Today I'd like to do a quick little video about a really cool feature that BirdDog recently added to their PTZ keyboard. Uh, more specifically, it is the NDI keyboard router uh, that is was added in the 45201 LTS uh, beta and is that is now there's a GA release 45203, right? And so what does this do? Well, you may or may not know that NDI has a function whereby a device can be set up as an NDI router and basically tell other devices, go here or go there for the actual feed. And so what this function does, if we look in Studio Monitor, we can see that the keyboard now shows up as an NDI source with this name keyboard router. And if I select that, what you get is it's actually telling, in this case, NDI Studio Monitor to go to the camera one to get the feed. It is not passing the traffic through the NDI keyboard, which is a good thing because the NDI keyboard's only got a 100 megabit uh, ethernet port. But, you know, and the 4K feed from this P4K is closer to 200 megabit. But it doesn't matter because it's not going through the keyboard. Instead, the keyboard is telling whoever the consumer is to point at the camera directly. And if I switch it, so if I go to camera two, you'll see there's a momentary pause and now you're looking at camera two. And uh, if I, I set up a scene in OBS, let me click on that real quick. And so now what you're seeing is this scene in OBS, uh, you've got uh, the overhead, which is camera two, as a pip in the lower right, so you can see what I'm doing. And if I hit one and then hit call or camera, it goes to camera one. Now with camera one, I can um, move it around with presets or with the joystick. All right, I'll go back to the normal uh, location. Eh, not quite. There we go. Sorry about that. And then I can go uh, camera two and it switches over. And camera one switches over, right? So I happen to think that this is, um, sorry. I happen to think that this is a really useful feature um, and I'm really happy that BirdDog added it. It's, it's like a no-brainer once you actually see it in use. Um, at any rate, if you have any questions, uh, oh, the other thing I'll mention um, because some people have uh, asked about it in the uh, Facebook group for BirdDog about doing the um, NDI upgrade. Um, the color of the LCD. So people are asking um, is it green or is it blue, right? If you are on the fence about whether your screen is green or blue, it's blue. The green is really green. Um, the, it's a bit, let's see if I can change the exposure here. Yeah, so that, you can tell it's, a, you know, turning down the exposure, it's a little bit more green showing there than it is when it's not so blown out by auto exposure. Um, um but it's really green. So if you're on the fence about whether your display is blue or green for the purposes of firmware update, it's blue. The green is really green. Once again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks. Cheers.